Hello, this is Steve Kramer, UNCG Business Librarian, with a three-minute introduction to using Reference USA to find competitors and also business-to-business -business customers. Reference USA covers basically every business location in the country, not only headquarters, but also every single branch, so like every McDonald's in the city, as well as the headquarters in Illinois, as well as every independently owned restaurant you could research using this. And this company is based in Omaha, Nebraska. They have a huge call center out there and research center. And they try to update their data on every listing every year, at least sometimes more than once a year. And if you're curious to learn more about their data, go to About Us and there's a video there you can watch. And incidentally, their data is used by both Microsoft, Google, and Yahoo for their, video, uh, for their maps. So if you do any kind of company search in Google Maps, it's gonna be this data, basically. So we go into US businesses, there's like 10 modules. This is the one we want for this topic of competitors and B2B customers. We need the advanced search for today's topic and notice there's a large number of ways of building a search, including company size by sales or employees and also type of company by ownership and by subsidiary or branch or public versus private. But let's just do two things today, business type industry, in other words, and also geography. Geography is pretty simple. You can pick more than one for any of these categories. I'm just going to do one city. Keep it simple, given my lack of time. Uh, the map tool is nice, though, too, particularly if you're looking for neighborhoods in a, inner, in a downtown area. Key, uh, business type, there's two main options. One is keyword searching. And for example, I've had students before work on tattoo parlors. Notice we've got hits for that, including tattooing and related terms like tattoo removal and body piercing and medical aspects too. So that's one way to go for very, works best for very narrowly defined competitor group or even a customer group. But the other option is to browse using the major industry groups. And for example, I had a student team once working on services for apartment complexes. And we were able to find that large group and the other related kinds of places using this selection here, which includes condominiums and apartments, rental houses. And down here, there's also a townhouses group. And we can see there's 251 in the city. And we can download these lists in great detail using download option. There's preset spreadsheet formats and you can create your own spreadsheet formats too. There's also charts, a data summary, and you can do a heat map. Um, don't have time for that, but let me just move on. For example, we can look at any full record, such as Abington Place on Bridge, Bridgeford Parkway, get more details about it. You might learn about who runs it. In this case, it's owned by another company, and we can go and see who that company is. Company in Charlotte, I think, because I looked at this already, um, called Grinco, and we can also see everything they own across the country. Um, and download this list too. So it's useful both looking up one company and researching it and its family of companies, as well as looking at a whole big group of all of your potential customers or B2B competitors.